Yo, what up? It's Aaron Moses, and this video is about what dudes want out of a female. Now, for all three of the females who actually watch my videos, <laughs> this video's for you. So, first of all, the first thing that dudes want is a listener. Females talk a lot. Females, a lot of women are not effective listeners, good listeners. A lot of, a lot of females might care about the the problem, but I often find myself talking to a woman about some shit, maybe a problem of mine, maybe issues that I'm having, might even be some kind of current event, and they're very selfish communicators. You know what happens? They turn it on them. They tell a story that has to do with something about their life. And it, it is really annoying when that happens. I say, they say, hey, how you doing, Aaron? I, and I say, um, I'm not having too good of a day. And they say, oh, what happened? And I say, you know what? My frog died. And they say, oh, my God. You know what's so crazy? When I was seven... Actually, this is really funny. When I was seven, my brother took a frog. I'm like, bro, you're just... That's not a good example because in that example, the woman was trying to cheer the man up. But if I say, uh, I went to the doctor today and they said that I'm um, bipolar. For real, actually, I low-key think I'm bipolar too. I'm like, you're not even listening. You're just talking to yourself now. You're just talking to yourself about yourself. You know what I mean? And that's pretty annoying. Next, um, don't be manipulative. Don't manipulate men into feeling good. Don't manipulate men out of things. I hear so many females say, especially when I was going to... It was a cosmetology school, but I was in the barber program. I'm just going to... Um, I'm just going to... Feed his ego a bit. Let him think this. Let him think that. And then he'll be happy. No. Why don't first of all, if you're feeding a man's ego to make them feel good about themselves or make them happy, that's that's hurting them, all right? Because the ego is not a good thing to feed. Firstly, but manipulating somebody even into feeling good is not good to me, especially when it's feeding somebody's ego. So don't feed a man's ego. Don't pretend like you don't know how to do some shit with the computer so he could feel good about himself. Find some other way to make some make them feel good. Suck his dick. Duh. So next, we don't want a fucking friend. We don't want a... F we do want a friend, but we don't want another... For you to be a, one of the homies. You know, a guy in the room. I'm not saying that you can't turn a, f a female friend into a girlfriend and go from there and get married and have kids and shit. I'm saying, like... I'm glad that Liz doesn't watch football and, you know, do manly shit with me and try to learn how to fucking make beats and be in the studio with me. I'm happy for that. I don't want her to be my fucking homeboy. Initially, when dudes fuck, which is, this is nine times out of ten how you guys met or even start talking to each other, trying to fuck each other, men, when men look for females to have sex with, we make it very clear that we don't want to be your friends, mostly, most of the time. So, don't try to involve yourself in other hobbies and belch like a man. Like, the average, the, the lady is dying. A lot of these females out here are not ladies. I don't want to hear about 
that you got. I don't want to hear about the big ass shit that you took last night. I don't want to know that you have to take a shit. I don't want to hear you farting, talking about your periods. Um, be a fucking lady. Your sex life, previous to me, who you a fuck. I don't want to hear that. No man really wants to hear that. Um, <coughs> I was going to say something else. But I forgot. Don't treat us, oh yeah, don't treat us like the homegirls either. Don't talk to me about some shit. If, if, you, if you have a boyfriend, you should have female friends. Because no man... Wants to be in any kind of relationship with the woman, whether it be home, homeboy, homegirl, brother, sister, mom, fucking son. No opposite sex relationships does the man want to be f treated like a homegirl, like a girlfriend, telling me about all these problems and you're cramping and just the gossip and shit. Just take, keep in mind. That I'm not your fucking girlfriend. I'm, these these dudes are not women. So it's just certain parts of our brain that just don't function in certain ways, and it just starts to push a fucking delete button and makes us zone the fuck out and space out. And really, when you talk to your fucking dude like that, you're really feminizing him. You're making him into more of a woman. Next, you need to encourage your your dude to hang out with more dudes. To hang out with more men. If you're spending too much time together, he will eventually start to inherit some of your feminine traits because men are leaders and a good leader knows how to follow. And that's just genetically what happens. When dudes hang out with women too much, they start to inherently become like a woman. So encourage your dude to hang out with the guys and let them have their space and um, it, encourage it. You know, give them their space and I'm not saying that you have to fucking be the the fucking wife that has 300 fucking chicken wings and two cases of beer ready for the game, <clears throat> ready for the game every Sunday and shit like that. No, not saying that. But don't fucking smother him with all your feminine talk and make sure make sure that he hangs out with the guys. Because if you want a man, if you don't want a woman, then. You need to make sure he hangs out with the guys. This nigga almost fell off the food time. He's learning how to crawl. And he's going backwards. Well, you shouldn't have did it. Sorry. Next, made me drop my goddamn notes. He was real close, too. <laughs> Next... I mean, every man hates hates makeup, and every man hates ass shots. Some dudes like fake titties. I'm not a big fan of it, but whatever. Just know that every man hates fake. Every man hates makeup in the whole world, except for a fucking. I don't even know what they're called. What they're called? The people who do makeup. Um, next. Nobody wants to save you. Project Pat taught us not to save you. You know what I mean? So, try to have your own shit, but at the same time, if you're not on your, if you're not in the place that you want to be, it's fine, like, dudes will deal with that shit, and if you're independent, don't press it in our face, because you being independent, and having your own car, and, and all that shit is nice, but men are button pushers, from a young age, most little boys, when you get to the elevator, they want to push the button. So if you're so independent, if you're so this and this, and you're so that, um, again, like I said, don't feed our ego and don't try to manipulate us into feeling like a man. But if you're always pressing this independent thing, I don't need a man, then you don't need a man. So be independent, develop your career, have your kids at fucking 32 and 33. And go to your fucking fertility doctor once a week and shit. 
But if you're so independent and so emotionally fucking stable and strong, you don't need a man. Don't look for one, all right? Because that shit's just annoying to us. Um, next, don't ever try to change a man. Don't ever try to change a man. Don't don't make him cut his dreads. Don't make him shave his beard. Don't none of that shit. Don't try. if you want to introduce him to some new shit, that's one thing. But you don't want a fucking you don't want a dude that's gonna let you just come in and infiltrate his fucking castle and just fucking paint that shit pink on the inside. You don't want that kind of personality anyway, because what is that going to say about anything that you build together and your children and shit and the personality of your children, you know? Don't try to change a man. Don't try to change a man. Don't try to change a man. Because if you do successfully, you no longer have a man. You have a Barbie doll now. You have a Ken doll or a Steve doll for all the black women out there looking for a strong black man. Um, Next... Don't try to be his mom, please. That's weird and it's gross. A man does not pick a fuck. I mean, some dudes pick their girlfriend based off of how their mom is. I don't know the psychology of that. I don't really think about shit like that. But just, I mean, just don't don't be a mom to the to the dude. Like he's not your fucking kid. You don't have a fucking genetic responsibility to this motherfucker, so don't be his mom, bro. It's weird, it's annoying, and it's, it's gonna get creepy, eventually. Um, and next, the last thing that's very important, and it might just be me, don't...